I kind of like that turtle. That's carved from wood and it's a trinket box. So the shell goes, <gasps> Okay, well today we are in Walkersville, Maryland and we are currently at the Goodwill. Uh, we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. 349. What does that say? Mary Kill. Cole. Mary Cole. <laughs> Marie Cole. It's like a personalized paperweight. It's got some age to it. It's also got two prices. I feel like that's hard because it's like a specific, it's very specific. It's somebody's name. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find another person named Marie Cole. Well, these are nice. Those are Dansk. Dansk critters. Three of them right there on the shelf. Sweet. A bear, a bunny, and what's the other critter? A hippo. Everybody loves hippos. That is flat earth. Flat earth pottery for $3.49. Sweet. It is a elephant trunk down. It's still pretty great. $4.49. I'll take the elephant. What is this? That is marked $9.50. I wonder if that's $9.50 silver. That would be fantastic, but I doubt it. I don't think so. $9.50 would be higher than $9.25. That's just not a thing, I don't think. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's just like terrifyingly real. This is rubbery. It's gross. It's like a real, it feels like a real turtle. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> oh, oh, it gave me like the heebie jeebies when I tried to touch it. What is this? It's a mouse. It's a glass, art glass mouse. Two dollars and forty-nine cents on the art glass mouse. I kind of really like it, but I think it's yeah, it's got a broken tail. It almost stabbed me. I don't even. Oh, it's a smiley face. I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's a it's a smiley face that wasn't put together correctly. Here's a toucan. These are usually made in Mexico. I don't see a Mexico mark on it, but it's three dollars and forty-nine cents. I like it, so I'm gonna stick it in there and I'm gonna grab this. This is a cat trying to get a birdhouse. $2.49. I'm surprised that's not broken. We're going to try to keep it from getting broken and I'm going to take it home with me. There's another not so weird turtle. I kind of like that turtle. That's carved from wood and it's a trinket box. So the shell goes, oh, yes. Are those what I think they are? Are those the... No, they're different than what I thought they were. I thought they were like those unicorns I got the one time, if you remember the unicorns, but they're not the unicorns. I think they're still good though. They are, this is Goblet, and that is fantastic. Look, he's got a little, he's like eating that ball that was in that one's belly button. Their best friends must be. I really like the sheep in the back, but he has a broken hoof, which is kind of sad because I think the last week when I was here, it wasn't broken and now it is. Oh, hey, look, fresh cart. We should skip to the fresh cart, take a peek. There are some cups and saucers, a bird thing, other elephants. I don't see anything too exciting from this angle, so I'm just gonna go back to checking this, this out because there's some cool stuff here. This looks like it might glow. 99 cents, but it's a single coaster. Not very exciting. That's art glass for 149. Probably made in China. Okay, well I figured since we had good luck in the figurines, it would be worth checking out the vases, but I'm not really seeing anything exciting in the vases. I don't know, usually I, I say that out loud and then immediately I find something, but it didn't work this time. So, <laughs> unfortunately, it did not work. That tray is just so great. It's probably made in Mexico tile. It's extremely heavy. I can't even pick it up with one hand. But it's so colorful and so fun. But you guys know I've put myself on like a, a tray ban. I can't buy any more trays until I get rid of some of my trays. So I'm going to leave that behind. But I absolutely love that. It's so great. And part of me is like, well, I could take it home for myself. But 
let's be real, um, I have enough trays that I could choose from at the shop that I could take home for myself. So we'll leave it for somebody else to enjoy. <laughs> That's neat. That is a, um, a wall art, but it is kind of falling apart there. I like this. This is copper. Enamel on copper. This is Peninaberg. Oh, it's Jerusalem. Uh, you can see there is some chipping on the edge. Um, I don't see any uh, fractures though, just a little chipping on the edge. A lot of the times these get fractures, like they get hit too hard and then it gets a fracture. So there's just a little chipping on the edge. I think I'm still gonna buy it. They are ruling out all of the fresh cards right now. Um, but I just wanted to check out that mug real quick before we take a peek at this one. This is kind of fun because you got Goofy down there. I think that's more than temporary though. Nothing, nothing too exciting in there. That bowl is really pretty. It is signed on the bottom. Um, it looks like Jacqueline. That's a nice name. It's like my name only with a A. Um, there's some pretty irises. Art pottery for $2.49. If that was at Monocacy Boulevard, it would be $24.99. So I think I'm going to grab it. There are a whole bunch of baggies. So I'm going to poke through the baggies real quick. What is that? Is that a dragon? That's something. A keychain, maybe? Oh, it's Godzilla. I, actually, I don't even know what that is. I'm not sure. It looks like it was maybe a laser pointer. <laughs> oh, a lighter. Is that a lighter? That would be cool, wouldn't it? I think this thing might be a lighter. It has a little hole at the bottom that I think you can, like, refill the lighter fluid and then the arm goes up and down I think to light it I'm not sure that's just a guess the rest of the stuff is not all that fantastic <laughs> this is the one thing about baggies when I find a baggie with something cool in it I have to decide if I want all the other stuff I don't know I think that's really neat so I'm gonna grab it duty but it's still obviously not a home per se. I think it's just a knockoff made in China. Off brand. I'm still on the hunt. I'll find it someday. Love your face. <laughs> it's so silly but I love these little trinket dishes. Like I, they always get to me and I know they're contemporary and I know they're silly but it's 99 cents. And just make such a fun little gift. Love your face. Hey. Oh, that's broken. That's a shame. My cart is going away from me. I'm really confused. Did I not? Oh, I did not pick up the mouse. I'm like, why is the mouse still here? I left the mouse because it was broken. That's right. I left the mouse because it was broken. <laughs> I kind of wonder what this is. Well, first of all, I picked up this because I'm like, I'm going to go find that bottle. And then I got distracted by this. What in the world is this thing? It's on um, a spring, and I think it's supposed to have a head, and now I'm like, I'm gonna go find the head. This is what happens when I go to Goodwill, and I find like one piece, and I'm like, I'm gonna go find the rest of this. And then I go off on this mission trying to find the rest of something, and I waste a bunch of time. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this is a more realistic mission than that one. But this is also made in Italy, and that's really fun. But what do we think went in that? It's kind of exciting. I suppose I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go see if I can find a bottle and then I'll bring it back. Also, that's kind of a neat carbs piece. All right, let's see what we can do. I don't see anything that would have gone with that little Italian figurine. I was thinking like a little head or something we could just stick in there and make him whole again. It's not going to happen. All right, well, I don't even see the decanters that go with those stoppers, which is very strange. I would have expected the decanters would just be hanging out over here. Um, oh, wait, maybe this is... No, that's... That wouldn't have had a rubber stopper. That, that would have had an actual stopper because the inside is ground. So those over there are the rubber stoppers. So um, I'm not seeing any bottles that would have gone with those. Okay, well, that's two out of two missions that I failed today at the Goodwill. <laughs> I think I should just give up. Hey, look, I think this might be one. 
Maybe. That might be one of the bottles with the stoppers. And then there's another one back there that already has a stopper, but I don't know. Honestly, it's not that cool. I will reunite them though. Okay, look. That's kind of cute. That's wood and it's painted and I'm going to stick it in there. I was just coming over to reunite, hopefully, this stopper with this bottle. Negative. They do not belong together. It was a good try though. Those are vintage. I mean, they're not super old. There's two of them here. Look <laughs> that one. That one's so fun. <laughs> there you go. That's great. You got your Coca-Cola. Some radishes. I like it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put it back though. I don't need it. Yeah, this one is actually kind of neat. I don't think that's real. I'm mean, like, what is that, 1990s? Maybe, $3.49. I feel like Coca-Cola stuff sells though, so I'm gonna grab that. And I know I won't be tempted to keep it because I don't really do much with Coca-Cola. I'm a Pepsi girl. That's interesting. There is a marking on the bottom. I wonder if this is made in Mexico. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna leave it. There is an interesting looking bowl in the back. We're gonna pull that out and get a closer look. It kind of has a recycled glass look to it, but I feel like the color is just flashed on. It's not really thick enough to be recycled, though it will to be fire and light. So I'm not gonna mess with that. What in the world is this? Somebody's photo of graves in a backyard. That is kind of different. I'd love to know the story behind that. I was hoping it would be on the back of it, but there's no story on the back of it. You just have to speculate what the story is behind this. Like, is that grandma and grandpa in the backyard? I don't know. What is this? This is Dollar Tree, which has a big video. So now you know when you find these, that they come from the Dollar Tree because here is one with the original sticker. I've actually seen these out and about before and um, I've never seen one with an original sticker. So now, now we can actually put a sticker to it. There's a little art glass. That one's probably made in China. So I'm not going to mess with that. What is in here? Aren't we curious? Oh, it's a punch bowl set. I don't need a punch bowl set. <laughs> She's really pretty and she has all of, well, no, she doesn't. She's missing a petal. It is Andrea by Sadek. Sadek? I never know how to pronounce it, but I thought she kind of looked like a Disney princess with all of her birds. All right, so I decided to do a real quick cart review, check things out. I mean, I don't think there's anything in my cart that I could, I need to get rid of. I think that I can make enough money on everything I've got here. I'm um, considering those little trinket dishes are 99 cents. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, the, those figurines, I think, are probably the best thing I have in here, unless that vase right there is a sleeper, which is totally possible. Uh, the lighter, I really want to get that out and do a Google image search, but I don't have a good enough signal in here to do a Google image search. I'm going to see if when I get to the checkout, I can't just pull that out and then donate the rest back, because the other stuff in there I really have no interest in. This will be a booth piece. This I think I could probably list online, maybe on knickknacks. Um, but yeah, I think we did all right today. So um, I'm gonna head up towards the Christmas and give that a peek, and then I'm probably gonna get out of here. All right, I actually just noticed in the back, <laughs> stop to take my thumbnail, and I noticed these. Those are interesting. They're made to look like a uh, dungeon. That they are probably um, potting shed. There are four of them instead of four potting shed. I'll take those. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. You guys know that Laurel loves to drum, and I think that she would just get such a kick out of this. <laughs> she really loved her bongos. And um, how much are these? Let's see. That was $17.40. I mean, still, I think she could have so much fun with those. So I'm gonna grab those for Laurel. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, well, I'm going to take a quick browse through Christmas. When I look through the Christmas... Oh, my gosh, this always happens. When I look through Christmas, I always drop baggies on the ground. Um, no, when I look through Christmas, I'm usually just... 
um, peeking around for the vintage Christmas. That's really <laughs> what I want. <laughs> but I can't seem to get the baggies to stay on the hooks. There we go. So for instance, this looks like a vintage baggie. There's a little dude in here. He's pretty cool looking. He looks vintage. And uh, there's something else going on in there. there the leaves are kind of hiding. <laughs> Hiding the other stuff. I really like him. Uh, so for $4.49, I'm gonna grab that. Okay, I wanna just see what they had on the end cap. I love looking through the baggies. That's really my favorite. I'm sorry, the bags, not the baggies. I forgot I'm not supposed to say baggies. There is a Snoopy. There is another fun bag. Uh, this one has this hand-painted snowman with cute little eyes and then this horse uh, but that's made in China I don't know if it's worth buying the whole bag so I'm not gonna buy it for just that snowman <laughs> that has a pink elephant in there and that weird robot looking cat robot cat I feel like that's contemporary though that looks like it might be vintage <laughs> Got a little yellowing to it, possibly from tobacco smoke. Um, oh my gosh, look at the reindeer on the back. It's definitely seen better days. <laughs> oh shoot, I think I'm gonna leave that. Okay, well I felt like that was a pretty good trip to Walkersville. Uh, sometimes I walk in and I walk out with like one or two things, uh, but today was a good day. I walked in and immediately, right on the shelf, I found that paperweight, which unfortunately was specific to an individual, had somebody's name on it. Um, but then right after that were those three Dansk figurines, which they're not worth like a huge amount of money. They are silver plate, so they're not sterling or anything, um, but they're still collectible and they're cool and they have like a nice modern shape to them. Um, so those were great. And then right after that, it was like, we just started finding stuff. So um, I didn't fill my card, but I got some cool stuff today. Uh, so my total spend was $89. And um, I will probably be listing these items on Knickknacks, uh, which is a new selling platform that I launched uh, through district.net. And um, I invite you to come and check it out. Uh, I will probably either be doing buy it now listings or five day auction. So um, we do have five day auctions running on knickknacks. And uh, currently, as of the filming of this video, we have about 200 other sellers involved and about 2000 seller applications to go through. So um, it is growing and it is growing very quickly. So come and check it out, uh, knickknacks.net. But um, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here and I will see all of you guys tomorrow. So long.